Hello everyone and welcome to a new series by Azani Animations. Today I'm bringing you that new series, Azani Analysis. Hello everyone and welcome to a new series by Azani Animations. Today I'm bringing you that new series, Azani Analysis. Big surprise there. Which aims to sift through all the crap that qualifies as Lego news and bring you, you guys, the best of the best. Please bear in mind that I am speaking as an avid fan of Lego constructible action figures or construction figures, and therefore some bias or sentiment may leak into some of the videos, but I'll do my very best to keep that from happening. And I just want you guys a little heads up in case something accidentally happens, because, you know, we're all human. With all that out of the way, let's get started. We have some interesting images here as provided by the Reddit user Tom Flanders. Likely for summer of 2017, Lego City, Elves, and Star Wars sets. Each one seems to have its own interesting mysteries to it. Let's take a look. Well, the first thing that we see when we look at this first set, Magic Rescue from the Goblin Village, at least to me, is a couple of new recolors, some interesting things, just some uh, fern or plant pieces in a pinkish color, which uh, I don't know about you, but I think might be nice to have for mocks and certain art designs. And several different purple pieces that it looks like we haven't seen before, such as some specialized kind of collar type pieces forming the uh, overhangs on some of the buildings. Um, towards the lower central part of one of the buildings, the central one, in fact, there's a nice orange kind of enclave section, um, which looks like it'll be, uh, you know, in fact, this entire thing is very colorful, but especially that main central building is uh, incredibly colorful with a little bit of light green, that orange, and the purple, and the brown, and the pink and all that, so there's quite a bit going on right there, but anyways, that orange uh, little enclave right there looks fascinating. Curious to see how it's built. Um, reminds me of the little uh, small person doors in um, the Lego Star Wars video games they used to have, but anyways. Uh, back on topic, um, nothing interesting in terms of figures here. Uh, Elves, unfortunately, kind of still goes by that girly stereotype and uh, fits in the many figures that are not really real mini figures, but we're waiting for when Lego will stop doing that because um, we're all for equality here. Uh, there is some interesting uh, stuff going on with what almost looks like simulated cloth, although it must not be, uh, down by the uh, lower left-hand side with that small green archway, and a little door that could possibly be knocked by or something like that. Uh, this one is interesting, although you can't really make up the name. Uh, the biggest thing I can see from it is that it has these interesting... Uh, wing pieces that hopefully are separate, although we shouldn't really bank on it, on the little horse guy who's pulling the chariot of sorts. Although there's some cool construction esque pieces, don't want to get too biased here, but there are a couple such as those nice flame pieces in the back that attach the pin, and the ones that also attach the pin on the side that form the wheels, which were last seen in the summer of 2016 as a Kimu the Mask Maker's shield piece thingies. So, um, right here, we can also see in the center that there's a little bit of some tan up there, which hopefully will be good for a relatively cheap set to get some different colors. And again, um, it looks relatively simplistic, but the hope is that it will be decent enough for its price, which I would bet is going to be somewhere around $15, $20. Uh, to be up to $25, but I am hoping not. And that's kind of where we are with that. This next set is fascinating in terms of its design. Now, first is there's a large, nice green base plate, light green. Uh, for those of you interested in using that in mocks, it's definitely a plus. But on top of that, the dragon is the kind of thing we really don't see in elves a ton, which appears to be, at least to me, um, joints that are based around technic pins. I can see some blue pins up there, the front legs of the dragon. It looks like it might be a rotational type thing, where the dragon's legs kind of rotate back and forth, or side to side, I should say. Uh, which is a nice plus, and the kind of thing that elves really should branch into more. I'm looking forward to seeing more mixel joints in elves from the late like, mixels theme. Um, the quality of the wings has definitely improved in these elf sets and in dragons and uh, or in similar type beasts and uh, it's nice to see that right now. It's a huge improvement. And even though they're still big unmockable pieces, it's nice to be able to use them for, well, some things. Um, as mentioned earlier, there's some recolors involving purple and or pink fern pieces and it's always nice to see those. And I can see some right now on the upper left and mid right of the scene. Uh, I just want to point out that people who do the box art on these are incredibly talented because I sure as heck cannot do this. It's fantastically detailed, even for you know, one, uh, even for any company. I mean, any company that's selling its wares to little kids and Lego certainly has a dialed in as far as this goes. This is titled Forest 
City Healing Hideout, and I'm not gonna lie, I totally might have read that wrong because it is super freaking hard to read. Well, anyways, that's kind of where we are with this set. Aha! Uh -huh. Rescue from the Goblin King's Fortress. All right. Now this one may be of interest to some, but personally isn't of a lot of interest to me. Um, it's a lot of light spring green, which I already have quite a bit of. Although that being said. It's possible it could be a much larger set than appears due to the angle that it is presented at. Uh, it looks as though it's the kind of set that seemingly looks small. So that is a good sign. Um, and based on the box size and that, I'm going to guess that it's going to be somewhere around the $55, $60 range. That being said, I always hope it's lower than what I predict. Um, interestingly enough, this set has several figures, or um, little, I should say, uh, elf figures, including one with some dark red uh, printing on it, or some dark red fabric components, very hard to see from here. Elves fans, please feel free to fill me in right here. Um, anyways, this is an incredibly detailed set when you consider the printing, but otherwise it's really not that detailed. Um, I'm looking at something that basically uh, has an exterior that could be made by, I mean, like a ten-year-old, and honestly I'm not super, super impressed by anything other than the coloring, uh, which does, by the way, include some more earth blue pieces, which are welcome anywhere and some earth blue pin pieces, which are especially welcome anywhere. Uh, I do want to say, though, the backgrounds are, of course, amazing, and again, if you do want to shell out 60 bucks for this set, do feel free to do so, because, you know, it does have some incredible printing to it. All right, the following is a uh, new city set coming up that appears to not have a title printed on the box at the moment with this preliminary picture, but I do remember reading something to the effect that it's storefront or storefront, beachfront, or something to that effect, uh, although it was translated from German, so take it as you will. Um, interestingly enough, there's not a lot of constructible aspects here, but there are definitely quite a few minifigures. I count a total of 14, 16 if you include the dolphin and the dog, which really aren't minifigures, but are mini and fig, so jury is still out on that one. Um, some nice base plate pieces that we've, of course, already seen before, but are always nice to get in every uh, in any new set, especially in tan, which we don't see too often, along with these comb pieces with the uh, that you can see in the sandcastle setup. Um, I can see at least four, possibly a fifth that might be hidden somewhere, and it's always nice to see. Um, more of those comb pieces is greatly appreciated to me, and I think to many mockists who specialize in detailed work. Um, one can only hope that the camic thing back there, whatever construction that is, has more to it than you can see right now, because I can see that base plate, and I can see a couple trees, and I can't see much more to it than that. But, to be fair, this really isn't a set built in construction, it's a set built on minifigs, and the minifigs part really does sell at home. Um, there's short minifigs, there's tall minifigs, there's blonde, there's dark haired, there's male, there's female, there's young, there's old, there's tons of minifigs here. And with 14 right here, it should be pretty good value for money at, well I'd have to guess is somewhere around 20, 15 bucks. Right over here we can see a city set that is a heck of a lot clearer, and it doesn't also have a name printed on here, I didn't remember reading a name for this one. Regardless, there's some nice colors here, such as that bright yellow and that bright green that really harken back to the old days of LEGO system. Always a cool thing to see. Many fake fans might be excited by the fact that, or perhaps not, by the fact that there is some dark red slash dark orange um, printing on the fig with the white hair in the center and the far right. Oh god, it's hard describing where these things are in this. <laughs> uh, on the far right of the uh, display. Uh, let's see, it's interesting to see some construction in the, uh, what looks like some sort of uh, kiosk or um, bus stop uh, on the left. And overall, it's just uh, kind of a uh, cool small set. Um, the kind of thing that you could get as a nice gift, and the kind of thing that hopefully we'll be seeing more in City uh, instead of... Uh, you know, really small or really large sets. It's nice to get something a little more in between, a little more in the middle. Right here we can see what looks like the advent calendar for the winter of 2017 slash 2018 for LEGO City. Um, personally, I've always never been the biggest fan of these advent calendars, but this one looks somewhat more interesting than the others in the sense that it has some cool sloped green pieces in the uh, bottom left-hand corner for that tree. And overall, paints a really nice scene that, even if it isn't the best set, will really draw viewers in. It looks like it's a uh, older woman who's looking out the window and, like, throwing something which might be snow. 
or maybe isn't, out to the, or saying hello, who knows, <laughs> out to the onlookers, who include Santa and a bunch of people from, well, Lego City. Uh, the icicles are also a nice touch, and overall the scene looks pretty good, with a total of... that looks like a small plane for a minifig. Anyways, um... A little bit of orange, but uh, overall the colors are somewhat muted, and that's fine because it is a uh, advent calendar set. And it's really just nice to see the background out here. There's a lot more to say about this other than that. Right here, we're looking at the last set of the day, and it is a LEGO Star Wars 2017-2018 advent calendar. Now, it's always cool to see a lot of variety in micro builds, but it's also cool to see a lot of variety in minifigs, and as you may have gathered, I'm kind of a minifig guy. Uh, that Uncar's Thug minifig in the bottom left foreground, we have only seen two other sets before. Always cool to see. And some of the micro builds as well are pretty fascinating. I'm counting like seven or eight. And uh, overall, they're uh, pretty uh, pretty varied. You're seeing Imperial stuff. You're seeing uh, original trilogy stuff. You're seeing new trilogy stuff. You're seeing Rebel stuff from both trilogies. And that's always a uh, cool piece of variety to work into the happen calendar. Something that most people like about these. Uh, the uh, micro builds for some of the figures, including the ATAT, -AT, look a little bit, uh, a little bit forced and not necessarily the best. And possibly could have pulled off they made it a little bit bigger, or if they introduced some new pieces. But again, it's a matter of opinion. Really, as whether they should have introduced new pieces, and as you may soon find out, I'm really against introducing new pieces if it doesn't absolutely have to happen. Anyways, folks, that's a little overview of the new 2017 summer 2017 sets that have been leaked, and hopefully you all are interested and willing to come back for more. This is Azani Animations, signing out.